Well, good day everyone. Welcome to another Model Railroad video blog. Today I'd like to talk about weathering our N-scale cars. What I want to get here is a basic fading out with the first layer or two of uh, weathering. Uh, I find the easiest thing to be chalks. Also, uh, there's a method of using acrylic washes and that is to use uh, acrylic paints water them down uh, basically uh, using a, a watered down paint is what we call a wash and just uh, brushing it all over the, the car and that has been very successful for a lot of modelers uh, particularly in larger scales I have a car here that I've done in end scale and I find the difficulty is that the the wash will uh, puddle up and cause unnatural looking um, weathering effects and so I do not uh, prefer this technique I've seen other guys use it in HO scale and use a hairdryer to keep the puddling from uh, affecting and they've been very successful and if you're successful with that then that's a very good technique um, from the local craft stores I just buy a set of uh, natural colored chalks if I, if I can find them and then I uh, you know I, I brush them down into a powder now this is interesting I was looking at ways to texture a whole different topic but to to add uh, ground texture to my model railroad and I noticed on a YouTube video a guy using uh, um, concrete mix and uh, it was a nice technique so I went out to the local hardware store I was looking at this uh, concrete mix and uh, you know, as human nature would have it, I, I touched it and went on to look at other things and realized I had this layer of uh, chalk on my hand from just touching the outside of the bag. And, you know, and I wiped my hand to remove it and it didn't come off that easy. And I started to think about it. This is the ideal color for some of the the box cars we have in N scale, I think I give it a try. So that's what I'm doing here. It's uh, it's only like two dollars and twenty cents for a small bag of this uh, concrete mix. I, I sift it out first, collected it into a little medicine bottle, and then uh, I could uh, sprinkle it on just the powdered portion onto my car, and then begin brushing it over. And then working it through all the car. Now you got to be careful; you don't scratch your car, but just gently brush it on. It sticks quite well. Fix it on with some Dole coat, and that is your basic layer. And if that's all you do for weathering your cars, um, it's significant. It'll take the shiny plastic car look and and turn it into a, a pretty nice car to put on your layout. But uh, adding on some other colors, some browns and blacks and rust colors, uh, I do use some of the other chalks to add on a second layer after the dull coat has dried. And by uh, sp spreading that across, uh, and even still not all that artistic, just putting on uh, a little bit of rust in, uh, down in the areas uh, on the lower parts and darkening up the scenes with some black um, to, to just pop out rivets and ridges and you know ribs along the side of the car and on the door uh, and that gives an extra accent to the cars by adding the uh, darker chalks um, once this is all done you got a couple of layers now for one third layer this is a heavier weather type of look um, of rusting going on and I'll use some hairspray and then add that to some dark black and, and uh, brown chalk mix 
and put that along uh, the lower parts and the trucks and on the top side, you know, top sides and the, the very top of the car. And uh, I'm almost overdoing it here today, but uh, you can do this lightly or more heavily depending on how heavily weathered you want your car to look. And simply this is it. This is this is all you can do if you don't if you don't feel like you're artistic enough to, to do the fine detail like airbrushing or the tiny brush strokes or the the little the little um, spotted rust spots but you just want to fade down weather and give a little rust look. To me this is the, a very easy way to do uh, cars as small as N scale cars and weather them and make them look quite nice and, and not uh, new and plastically anymore. So that's what I have for you today and so thanks for watching.